guys, I'm Rob from RV Travel Buddy and RV Travel Quest. And today I'm going to review some of our equipment we use for computers. And uh, I thought maybe I'd do a couple of videos. We'll talk about computers today. Uh, we'll have another one on our internet. And then also we'll talk about other equipment we use, um, like our cameras. So today, somebody asked me on a hangout the other day what kind of computers we use and yeah I had tower computers and all that stuff when I lived in a home but on the road we decided to stay totally mobile so Sherry and I both have our own computers so what we use is called the HP Envies and these are nice small computers mine's a 7i Sherry's is a 5i uh, Sherry pretty much only deals with pictures and accounting and I deal with a lot of uh, pictures in video so I needed a little more power so all my editing my editing software is all on this computer so the biggest problem that happens when you do video is video files are large and they keep growing and growing as time goes on you get more and more and I do produce I, I have a file system that I use to keep track of all my back files but you get the raw files from all these different cameras we use and then we render them into a regular video so that's another large video we have and that all gets up put on the computer well after so much time you, you'll start getting a red line on how much space you got left on your computers and I have a terabyte and <laughs> It's amazing, a terabyte in the old days was like unheard of, now it's like not big enough. <clears throat> so what happens is when we get to about six months worth of videos, and we've gone well past that, so every month and a half or so we do a backup. So the way we do that now, or the way we've always done it, is we use an external drive. And Sherry also uses an external drive too. She has a two terabyte backup drive. I use a five terabyte backup drive. I don't have five terabytes on here but just in case it's that big. So I might have two terabytes in here at the most and Sherry probably hardly has one terabyte. But just in case it gets big or we really start doing a lot of productions we have the room to hold it. So <laughs> what I wanted to tell you is as we get videos made and they're on our computer, eventually the computer can't hold anymore. So we take a section of our videos and dump them onto our external drive. And this is five terabytes and made by Seagate. And um, the um, problem that happens with that is, okay, once we dump, then I start deleting from the computer to make room again. And... I can do that because I know they're all backed up on the external drive. But then I kind of worry, and, and everybody should worry, is what happens if this drive uh, breaks down, goes bad on me? I've lost everything, and uh, that's not a good feeling. So same thing with Sherry. She gets too much data or too many pictures on her computer, and then she dumps it onto her smaller backup drive. And the same thing happens is she's got all of her main pictures on her drive and I've got all my main pictures and videos on this drive. What if one of these drives fail? We would lose a lot of data. So what we do now, <coughs> while well, we always have, is back up the backup. So we use another external drive and this particular one's only five terabytes. As we grow, I'll probably have to uh, get you know, maybe uh, seven or the ten terabytes when that's the um, cost effective but right now this is enough to do what we need to do <laughs> so this drive and this drive get backed up on this drive so we back up the backup <laughs> so that's how we do that <clears throat> now everybody does things a little different um, but that's how we organize our files and protect our files we also make sure the backup of the backup is stored into a secured uh, firebox that we have up front in the RV. 
So some of the other things people ask us about is like how do we um, stream video? And so another thing we have in our entertainment system is we use what's called Push TV. And this little unit goes over at the TV, plugs into the wall, and then we have a, a cable that goes to the television itself. And this is a Bluetooth type of device. And we have software on our computers that when we turn this on can see this and can see and we can transmit our screen to the television. So if we want to stream a video uh, either from YouTube or even Netflix, we, uh, we do it through what's called Push TV. And if you go to uh, uh, Amazon, you can find this unit. They're about $59, $69. Uh, I'll put links to the Push TV and links to the two 5 terabyte um, external drives we use. They've been very uh, uh, dependable. They work well. So that kind of answers the question we usually get from a lot of folks about our computers. We also use special stands. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> we also use special stands they have fans in them to help keep our computers cool. Um, that can be a problem when you're in a place that has high temperatures and you have a hard time keeping the RV cool. The other thing is when I'm rendering, my computer is working pretty hard, so I like to put it on a cooling stand, which just plugs into your USB, to help keep the um, laptop cooled down. I, am, I actually have, a long time ago, a laptop uh, AMD, I think they called them back then, they burned really hot, and I literally burned one up. So I, uh, I, I'm really an advocate about trying to keep your laptop cooled down. So these little trays are really nice to have. You can get them at Best Buys. So that kind of concludes what I wanted to show you. Um, the HP Envys, we've been very happy with them. They perform well. Sherry's actually upgraded already to Windows 10. If I can find the time, I'm going to upgrade mine. Hers was very successful, working well. Um, I'm right now doing Windows 8. I will move this to 10 as soon as I have enough time to download it. And that concludes that. So if you have any questions in the comments below, let us know what kind of uh, questions you have about the computers we use. This uh, video is just about our computers and how we back up our data. Um, we will have videos in the future that will cover what cameras we use, and also another video we're going to do about how we manage our internet. So I hope that was helpful to you. I hope it gives you some ideas. I'm, I'm, everybody does this a little different, but that's how we do it at RV Travel Buddy. So I want to thank you for watching. I'm Rob Scribner. Please take the time to subscribe and have a great day. Bye now. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to discover our other YouTube playlist. RV Travel Buddy, which is tips, resources, and services. RV Travel Quest, where you can follow Rob and Sherry on their real RV travel experiences. RV Living Mission Series, which teaches people how to prepare to be an RVer in the future. The Insane RV360 Videos. Our amazing RV.TV, where Amazing stories come from our viewers, and last but not least, RV Talk Radio. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.